here inside Perfect Effects. There are lots of different ways that you can customize any type of filter preset you apply to your image. On this photo, I've placed a texture that I really love, however I don't like it over my entire image. Luckily, that isn't a problem. With the masking tools here inside Effects, I can choose which part of my photo this texture will be applied to. On the left-hand side of the preview, there are two different masking tools. I'm going to be using the masking brush so I can paint in and out this effect. I'll go ahead and select the tool, and up in the Tool Options bar, I'll need to choose things like the mode, I have it set to paint out, which means I want to remove the texture from my image. I can adjust things like size, the feathering around the edge of the brush, the opacity of the brush, and the ability to use the perfect brush, our edge detection brush. Once I have everything set in my tool options bar, all I need to do is click and paint over the areas that I don't want the texture to be. To make the masking process even easier, there are a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts to help you along your way. By clicking the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard, you can actually adjust the size of the brush to make it larger and smaller. This can be great if you're masking very huge areas in your image and you don't want to have to use such a small brush to get such a large area. If you hold the Shift key and then press the left and right bracket keys, you can adjust the feathering amount around the edge of the brush. The closer the dotted line is to the center of the brush, the harsher the tool will be. The further away the dotted line is from the center of the brush, the softer the edge of the brush will be. Also, if you make any mistakes with the brush tool and you accidentally paint in or out an area you didn't mean to, you can press the X key on your keyboard. By doing so, it will swap the mode from paint out to paint in, and then you can clean up your mask and make sure that those edges look great. The last option using this masking brush tool is the perfect brush, and it's the best way to make sure that the edge of your mask looks wonderful. You can go up to your tool options bar and turn the perfect brush on just by clicking the checkbox, or you can press Control or Command R to swap it on and off. Once I have the perfect brush on, then I can click and drag around the edges of my mask to make sure that I get a good clean line between the foreground and the background. One of the last awesome tools that goes along with the masking brush is the option to invert a mask. Depending on the type of situation that you're in, you may want to paint out a small area and then invert the entire mask. To do so, go up to your tool options bar and in the top right hand corner, click invert. It will swap your mask and now the texture is on the subject and the background is left alone. If you want to start from scratch, you can also click the reset button on the top right hand corner as well.